Mr. Desai, let me come to you first. Before we look at some of these specific points, um, the context in which Mrs. Sitaraman began her big series of announcements today had to do with the global scenario. She said, look, a lot has been said about India, where we stand right now. But if you look at advanced economies, if you look at emerging market and developing economies, if you look at the world altogether and you look at India, then our growth rate of GDP, while it may have come down, is still substantial. So therefore, the criticism has to be placed in this context. So from a macro standpoint, before we get into specifics, do you believe there is merit in this argument? Well, um, we should really be looking at our potential growth rate, which has been, for the last 15 years, around 8%. And the actual growth rate has come down to 5, 5.5. Five so we are doing really badly, and that is something the finance minister is simply not prepared to admit. You know, actually, when we're talking in terms of addressing the issue of slowdown of the Indian economy, I think we need to distinguish between a stimulus and a case of alleviation of various pain points which are there in the economy. And I think the announcements which the finance minister has made today addresses quite a few pain points which are there, therefore should be welcome because they will definitely make life easier both in terms of business and as well as individuals. But if you're really talking in terms of a stimulus, in terms of the government actually going beyond something which we already know, I think that's something which has not come out out here and will probably be taken up in the next two sets of measurements. The issue really was demand. Yes. And that's the heart of the matter. Investors are not investing because the demand is not there. And so, quite rightly, the major question mark was a stimulus package. And frankly, I'm very wary of stimulus packages. I do think we're doing the right thing by bringing down interest rates. So the monetary response is correct. Yes, we need to have uh, I mean, a visible plan uh, laid out in front of us as to how the 100 lakh crore rupees is being financed and is being spent. But is this press conference the right opportunity or the timing for it? Maybe not. May I call this press conference the debudgeting of Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman's budget? Everything she announced in the budget, which supporters of the government defended, she debudgeted it and the supporters of the government She's are She rolled back stuff, right? That's so it's debudgeting saying. of the budget. Vishnu, I think it's very simple and very clear. Uh, between all the negativity that is spread around right now, I think today it was a ray of hope uh, which has come out and I'm very, I'm very happy and uh, I must tell you, I think on all fronts, whether it's on the FBI surcharge uh, being uh, revoked now, uh, will actually give a lot of confidence to the equity markets. I must tell you, being a banker, I'm going to talk about what, what matters to um, my line of interest. Actually, the first thing, the, 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 the prime point uh, of this whole conference was to restore investor confidence. And uh, by removing the surcharge on FPIs and by also re uh, making CSR uh, shortfalls not criminal, uh, mm -hmm. not a criminal violence, not a criminal uh, offense. I wouldn't call it a stimulus, uh, Vishnu, but it is a sort of an unclogging of a constrained pipeline. Uh, of, there, was, uh, uh, there was a liquidity uh, issue that was uh, resulting in a, a problem in flow of credit in the economy, and this is one step towards resolving that.